but in winter. Lower even than the clouds like fish schools. A murmur of starlings crossing the road over between evergreens, streaming fast river paths. Pick up your nostalgia from the roadside bird. Queen Anne's lace, golden rod, turkey vultures eating crocus and other wild flowers. I once pulled over to help move a turtle off the road, and while I was getting out, the car behind me just nailed it. It was funny, almost, like a snail with dancing shoes. Or the way a town grows on you like foot fungus, like a pair of raccoons looking up at you, stepping over them from the bottom of a storm break, blue daylight splashing their round eyes. Sometimes there's a cat in the trash can. Sometimes you end up exactly where you expected a road to take you, and that's sad, isn't it? The way the trees looked in winter, through the kitchen window, out across the lake, smudging gray, brown, and umbers upwards. Crackling wood, brushing tangles into off-white, bearing overcast and all squashed flat. The rolling horizon pins you down. How the sky fell all the way to the ground. How now all your stuff is here, and you? You find beauty anywhere you can turn over a rock to find beetles. I once reached over a barbed wire fence to pet the horse on the other side and cut the underskin of my arm right open scratch. It was painless, almost. Still the scar lingers, soft, pale, and beautiful in its honesty. Like how, if you back up, this whole land is a scar. The way the people here before you cut open the forest and cut open the ground and cut open the first people here to suckle these crops on all of that blood and history sunk into the dirt, too heavy for any floodwaters to take away the fields. Made all up of broken lines. What is there to say about it? This is where you live. Now here and here and here, home of the popcorn festival, home of the 4-H regional pig fair, home of grandmother's crazy quilts, more patchwork even than the ground cover, home of the patriots and the braves and the Indians, but only as a mascot or just a name that doesn't mean shit anymore, does it? Home that feeds you anything to keep you coming back, where the eastern bluebird taunts you like a sunrise, where the dirt is so fertile when you stand in it barefoot, you can feel the roots setting in between your toes. And if the earth is truly round, every ground is the same ground. You feel it down in your feet, soles, like worms swarming the sidewalk in a rainstorm. You can't decide whether it's better to be drowned where you are or to be crushed where you're going. When the trains drew in winter, River Creek, iron tracks all lined up, stacked, filled to the brim with rocks instead of people reminding you that every stone came here from somewhere once, either by glacier pressing cold and endless, or by this railroad huff puffing and barreling, cable card like millipedes clang clacking across the sun gold grass. The whistle howls at night, it calls you haunted, singing to clapping junctions deep, in the dark telling you that this is longing. This is heartland. This is middle of no place mythology. This is the story of hometown. It's the idea of far away. And still, right here. Thank you guys. <laughs>